Oh wait. Oh my settings are good. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Alright, so this is the first level. Kensington apartment. Newt's will assume control of Roddy St. James. Uh so Kensington apartment is split up into two sections, living room and kitchen. Living room is this whole tutorial section that's supposed to teach you how to dump how to jump, double jump, attack, all that stuff, but Newt's is a gamer, so he doesn't need it. Uh, Kensington Apartment is just littered with kill planes. They're all over. Like, if you're even slightly off the path, you typically will die. But there actually is this one section where there isn't, and that's past the lampshade. So Newt's is gonna get on top of the lampshade, jump off of that to land on the wooden beam, and then uh, zip line down. That will pretty much skip the entirety of living room, which saves like three-ish minutes. So we can move directly to the pantry to get onto kitchen. Or uh, we actually debate what this is. I call it a pantry. Newt calls it a closet. Yeah, I don't know. It's something. That's all we know. It is something. So once we get to kitchen, Newt is going to. Uh, well, the goal for kitchen is to get to the sink in like the center. Uh, how you're supposed to do that is traverse through the kitchen by going like around the perimeter. Uh, but Newt's going to take a more direct path by using a frame perfect trick called an attack jump. Uh, if he uses an attack in midair and then inputs a jump exactly 32 frames after, he'll be able to perform an additional midair jump. Uh, this will allow him to not only dodge a kill plan, but get him enough distance to uh, make it to the kitchen island. Uh, getting to the sink itself is not good enough. You need to actually climb up onto the rope and drop down in order to activate the cutscene. Yeah, and uh, we just got it. I really clutched that because uh, the death animation played. Sometimes they'll do that, but I'll also load in the... Uh cutscene, so that was epic. Yeah, very good. That trick is very hard, because he had to my. weave through invisible kill planes and dodge all those uh, North Gun darts. So, Newt's is going to talk to Socket Set. He took a very kind of weird path. It's to avoid a cutscene, an additional cutscene that would have played if he just went directly at Socket Set. Uh, but now we're moving on to the second level of the game, A Jar of Flies. Uh, this is supposed to be a pretty lengthy level, but Newt's gonna perform the Jar of Flies skip, which involves wedging himself under an invisible wall, uh, landing on the perimeter of the pipe in order not to uh, activate it and drop him into the normal part of the level, and he gets it perfectly. Yeah. Uh, that just skips like five or so minutes of the entire level. Uh, that entire thing. So where he just jumped into is where the level would tip end. Uh, he's now going to trick the game into uh, thinking that he's at like the normal part of the level by dropping into the elevator. This will then spawn in the flies which he'll need to collect and then he can run back to where he came from to end the level. You'll also notice that Newt took damage as he entered the um, elevator. He took 3 HP. That is fall damage. Um, if he were to fall for like a couple frames more, he would have died entirely due to fall damage. The fall damage would be that lethal. Uh, so he did a little thing with his movement in order to mitigate the fall damage. But yeah, it is extremely brutal. But it can be avoided, which Newt will try and show off in the next level. But that's pretty much it for Jar of Flies. Yep, that Again, was another pretty skip. clean. Very clean. Yeah, wow, that was really impressive. Uh, yeah, Jar of Flies skip is not easy to do. Newt's made it look very simple, but it is very hard to get not only under the invisible wall, but land perfectly onto the pipe and then jump off. Uh, but now we are in Enter the Liar, which is the third level. We are now assume control of right, Rita. Um, she is similar to Roddy in like the way they can both jump, double jump, and attack. Uh, but Rita also has a grapple. Uh, this allows her to obviously grapple onto things. But uh, yeah, so he'll gain that ability 
Uh, he'll then attack a jump across this crevice in order to make it to the warehouse area faster than what you'd have to do normally. And yeah. Nicely done. Uh, oh, right, you're not. I forgot you're. Well, <laughs> anyway, if it's going if to it's up. anyway, we're good. Yeah. We're so in anyway, now. Uh, yeah. So now Newt's are gonna go out of bound in order to skip the flood room. The flood room is this very like vertical portion of the level. It's really slow to get across. I think a bunch of switches, lower the water, whatever. Newt's are gonna skip that entirely. Uh, by getting out of bounds, he's also going to try and do a death cancel. Which I just got. <laughs> Very nice. So as you see, he fell for a long time, but suffered no fall damage. It's because right when he landed, he inputted an attack. This, for whatever reason, nullifies all attack damage, or all fall damage, rather. Excuse me. And yeah, he made it off scot-free. Again, that's a frame-perfect trick. My poke. So, yeah, now, uh, yeah, I know, so that was like a bunch of skips back to back to back, but now, fortunately, we have some more downtime and we have to play this level normally. We are going to get to the gear room. Uh, the gear room has gears that will spin. Uh, the first gear has a hole in it that we have to get across. It is random to what cycle it will be on. Uh, we'll see what cycle Newt gets this time around. It's, yeah, the usual, not that great. Yeah, so he will just have to wait a bit until he can get through. Uh, but then we are going to get to the steam section. And, uh, the steam is pretty brutal. Um, the hitbox for the steam is way bigger than what it actually shows up as. Uh, it may look like you can jump over it, but it's huge. You'd have to get on top of these pork things or pieces of bread. I, I'm not entirely sure what these are, if I'm being frank. I cannot see here, but we're going for a blind-ish jump, and we're up here. Out of the blind section. Yeah, lighting in this game is uh, not great at times. Um, for whatever reason, with Newt's set up, he just, uh, I don't know, it's just absurdly dark. Actually, he had to change settings on OBS to make it as visible as it is now. So yes, this is like, as visible as we can make the game with all like brightness adjusted. It's a bit crazy, but yeah, for whatever reason, Newt's game is just darker than what it normally is, at least for me. I think the my Wii's haunted, honestly. Yeah, that would explain some other things that have happened to you, Newts. So now we're going to he's going to do a grapple jump. This involves uh, holding himself in place with the Y button, holding a direction, and then mashing A. This allows him to jump off the grapple, which you cannot do normally. Uh, this gives him additional vertical height, which will allow him to skip going around the perimeter of the level in order to get to this vent. And we are now going to enter the Toad's bedroom. Do you want to go over what movement we do there? Alright, so sneaking this game, as you can briefly see whenever I miss a uh, roll, alright, it's, it's, it's kind of a sidestep, but Roddy's is a roll, Rita's is a sidestep. Basically, it allows you to move quite a bit faster through there because Rita's sneak is really really slow saves about three to four seconds if you do it you know a little bit better than i did not you know just like typical how it goes it's a bit hard to get used to at first but yeah rolling is definitely much faster than just tiptoeing around and read a sneak but yeah now we just have to enter the bedroom take the ruby and then get out of there once we break through the window, we'll be going onto a grind section. Both characters can grind on these like pipes. We'll see Roddy do that in a future level. Uh, not too much to talk about. There are some weird properties with grinding, but they aren't really all that important. Man, I want to take a quick second to, to just say I'm like 
on IL pace right now. Yeah, you're you're very yeah, you're very good right now. Ooh I man. Mean, you're already, like I have never seen enter the layer being cleared at ten minutes. That is yeah, insane. That is crazy. Keep it up, bud. Thank you, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already feeling the nerves. Now then, that wasn't. Uh, well, just replicate this for license of fun then. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're moving on to the next level. Uh, Rita just what? boarded her boat, which is called the Jammy Dodger, what? and that is what we are going to be pl playing as. So this level, Race with the Rats, has two sections. One is. Just learning how to drive the boat. The second is a shooter section, uh, which we'll get to when we get there. So as for what the Jammy Dodger can do, um, it can accelerate with the A button. We can uh, shoot things with the R trigger. Uh, uh, we can salvage with the X button with salvage spots, but salvaging is pretty useless. And then we can also jump with the L trigger, which for some reason the game doesn't teach us to do. Even though it's like, like the most important that. button. Yeah, you even have to do that, like, you're supposed to do that for uh, the later level. But anyway, yeah. Uh, the Jammy Dodger in the air is very good. So, um,. Yeah, we almost always wanted to have it in the air or like be jumping. Uh, that's because we are able to do these two movement tests uh, called insta boosting and dolphin diving, which Newt will get into later once we get out of this tutorial section. Uh, but yeah, the Jammy Dodger is pretty difficult to control overall in terms of just getting the movement perfectly. Uh, yeah, as you'll see, we just salvaged some stuff. We just required to do that for the, the tutorial. Uh, we pick up these salvage we can sell to the shopkeeps uh, for upgrades or other things that we can get to the Jamie Dodger. So right now, uh, Newt is equipping the Roman candles, which are useful. Well, we have to use them at one point or another. There's like a fire extinguisher, which like barely boosts your speed. There's like these seltzer pills, which I don't think they do anything. But yeah, we really don't need to mess with any other the bells and whistles of the Jammy Dodger. Uh, Newt, do you want to explain insta boosting and dolphin diving? Sure. So, dolphin diving is probably the most basic technique for the Jammy Dodger. It involves just jumping and then letting the buoyancy of the Jammy Dodger just like it gives you enough buoyancy that you just um because it uh, hold on I'm having yeah, no, a, don't don't worry about it we we don't even need to do the I can just talk you don't need to do it no well, I can uh, I can do it it's just okay. I'm not thinking right now. So di dolphin dives, the game wants you to go up because, you know, emulating buoyancy and everything, right? But the Jamie Dodger is going down. So it solves this by creating four momentum, kind of like what you're seeing right now. And this happens just even with regularly landing. And then there's an exploit you can do that can cancel some of that downward momentum even more into forward momentum like there. That is a standard insta boost. There's no other names for the other ones because we don't know what all sorts of insta boosts there are, but there are plenty of different types of insta boosts. And the best one is the regular one where you basically just get immediate speed, which is why it's called the insta-boost. Yeah, insta-boosting is pretty recent. It was only found like a few months ago. Yeah, so that's why we don't know all the ins and outs about it. Yeah, so that was Race with the Rats part one. Now we are on to part two, which 
I said was the shooter section. Um, the Jammy Dodger has different modes and stations. Uh, there's the crayon cannon and the air cannon. Uh, hopefully we will never see the air cannon be used. Uh, yeah, so crayon cannon, we have to fight four waves of enemies. Right now it's gonna be Fat Barry, that's gonna be Fat Barry and Tomino's Ted. That's gonna be the two of them and Lady D Killer, and then it'll be Whitey and Spike. Uh, so right now he's taking out Fat Barry. Uh, we actually just passed this point where if he were a pass, you would be able to uh, get a section. So typically the waves come at like different points of times depending on the curve. Uh, that's like the only time that the enemies can spawn in. Um, but he can. Uh, he beats the two enemies like as quickly as possible. He'd be fast enough to spawn in the wave of three early, so that he could then spawn in the final wave early. And once the final wave is taken care of, the level will end. So typically for the first three waves, it doesn't really matter how fast you beat them, just so long as you beat them within a certain amount of time. Alright, the spike's fighting me a little bit, but we're good. Yeah, Spike's a fighter for some reason. He is very evasive. Did you see that? Uh, actually, all these rats are very hard to hit in general. They're on a set path, but still. Yeah, and we can kind of predict their movements, but uh, again, just crayons are just we have it. so small of a hitbox. They're just notoriously hard to hit. But that was a very clean with, race with the rats. Very good split. Uh, so right. now we're at escape the lair, so we take back control of Roddy. Going to get you. Uh, Newt is going to try for these attack jumps. Uh, no, not anymore, but... Much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there is a time save you can do as opposed to going to the right, taking a cutscene. Uh, just doing two attack jumps. That will get him across. Um, again, it is two frame perfect attack jumps that he'd have to do, so very difficult. So he's eschewing that just to get the run moving along. Now he's going to get onto these ropes. He will then try and phase through the ground. And so that's a skip. He now that he could do that, uh, it skips having to like go around, get up to that part. Uh, he's actually, his movement is to avoid cutscenes, so he just moves straight along to the end of the level. Yeah, this uh, Escape the Lair is pretty lengthy, but he's avoided most of it, so good on that. So yeah, now, I went through it about Escape three times as fast as it, we normally would. And I would usually do the yeah. attack jumps, but look at that time save, dude. I don't think I want to do that right get now. that time save. Yeah, you, sh you really shouldn't. Like, also, don't go for the gauntlet thing. <laughs> Death cancel. I don't think my heart could take it if you don't make it. I mean, you can if you want to, obviously, but... I'm not going to. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> That's good to hear. Uh, so anyway, now we are at follow that... Girl. So this is the second half of this level. Well, I say half, but this section is way longer than Escape the Lair took us. Um, so basically, we're chasing down Rita and her boat. Um, this isn't like a running flagpole thing. It's not like we reach the boat and then the level ends. Uh, no, the level ends when the level ends. There's just an additional timer at the bottom that really we don't need to care for since, of course, new to speedrunning, he's going to be fast enough to completely ignore that entirely. Um, so this is what's known as the hydration break, where we just sit on this boat and then also just run straight along this path. Um, I'm yeah, probably also, not going to go for the wall ride here, but... Good, um, good, good. I was like, is there any other, like, low reward, high risk things that I need to tell him not to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, so there would have been a wall ride there that would have saved a bit of time, but losing that would send you all the way back to before you got onto this little, like, uh, boat thing. So, a very high-risk, high, high risk, 
Loverboard. Uh, if you had to summarize Newt's uh, play style, is that uh, I am, I on the other hand, just love safety and consistency. Where's the and bike helmet the while I just go? <laughs> yes, the hard hat, the bike helmet, give knee pads, elbow pads, give me it all. Uh, you'll see <laughs> Newt's is uh, in interacting with these uh, colored orbs. These are called propeller points. Uh, there's blue and purple ones that send you horizontally, and then there are orange and yellow ones that send you vertically. Uh, we won't see yellow ones until running the gauntlet, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, blue orbs are weaker than the purple ones and are very slow as a result, so... I just got the best cycle possible. Whew. Uh, it's just kind of up in the air to uh, what, where they will be. Uh, Newts will also take some weird... Are you cutting out? Oh, am I cutting out? Uh, you were still talking about Hello? the skip, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, we can just pretend you said that since you cut out, but it, it's fine. Unless you want to still do it. it. No, it's, I mean, I said it to myself, so that's all that matters. <laughs> um, <laughs> At least somebody heard it. Yeah. If the walls could talk. If only. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Newt is just getting along to the rest of the level, as you see, uh, there's the grinding like Rita could do. Um, yeah, he's just gonna take very precise movement in order to just optimize, just, again, just basic optimization of platforming and just movement. Uh, there's gonna be this gap that Newt will clear without the need for the blue orbs. Uh, he uses a combination of coyote time which is a mechanic of many platformers where uh, you're considered grounded even after running off a ledge for like six frames. Uh, it's just to give a buffer to make the game easier and less like restrictive, just so you can make jumps easier. And he also used delayed double jumps to just help him get across big gaps. All right, now we're and getting yeah. to the next pipe section. Well, if I don't mess up like that, I'll just do it normal. There we are. Yeah, might as well. It's a bit risky anyway. All right. So well. yeah, that is uh, follow that girl. Yep. And the next two levels are going to be pretty easy. Not, you know, there are some parts where you can choke pretty bad and lose a run. But other than that, we're sitting pretty good. So, we relax a little bit. I must have one of those suits. Yeah, just take your break before Gauntlet. I don't know. 40 quid. Yeah, that was a pretty clean escape the liar. Oi, mate, at your boat. So now we are at a good deed. So first of all, we need to talk to, Char talk to Charlie Wu in order to get the mission. Uh, as you saw, we had to take two different cutscenes to get to him. Uh, we can't, we cannot skip the first cutscene like we did with Socket Set. Uh, just the hitbox to start that cutscene is just way too wide. There's just no way around it that we can find at the moment. Uh, but now we're in a good deed, so we're about to save some orphans. Uh, we do this by taking the Jamie Dodger from going to start to the end of the area, then the end of the area back to the start. Um, yeah, so it's another boat section. There's a lot more obstacles here, which uh, are actually very, very dangerous and can lose you time for no reason other than just the game being um, so, 
yeah. I guess just collision is very weird with the boat. Um, sometimes we can just go, like, call in our inner Tony Hawk Pro Skater and just pull off some 720s and, like, really wild moves. Again, the boat just does not like touching anything, and the objects don't like touching the boat, so it just launches it off course terribly. Uh, but even so, Newts will take uh, as optimal a path as he can, sometimes even jumping over these uh, objects in like trash heaps. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole level. It's pretty punishing if you things don't go your way, but otherwise it's a pretty straightforward level. Uh, some things to note is that uh, we are playing on the GameCube version of this game. Uh, so this flushed away like the whole game game series uh, came out on four different platforms. GameCube, PlayStation 2, the DS, and the Game Boy Advance. Uh, the GameCube and PlayStation 2 are uh, similar games. Like the only difference is that uh, cuts or uh, that load times are longer in PS2. That's why we prefer GameCube. Uh, but the DS and Game Boy Advance games are entirely different games. They're their own beast. Yeah, Newt is planning to become a grandmaster of Flush the Way, though, so he will eventually speedrun and master those games. Eventually. It's going to take quite a few years, I would think. But yeah, that is his plan. Um, yeah, another thing is that, uh, as I said, we're saving orphans right now, and if you remember the movie, we don't save orphans. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of plot differences between uh, the game and the movie. Um, like, if you squinted your eyes and tilted your head and looked at both scripts, you can see that they're similar, but uh, especially the middle portion, there's so much differences. It's pretty much stops following the game, or stops following uh, the movie plot after it escaped the lair. And it's already loosely following it at that point. But, yeah, some beloved yeah. characters like uh, Gilbert and Sullivan, which you may have seen like a couple For frames seconds. of the intro cutscenes, as well as like on the kitchen itself. That's all you get to see of them. But they're uh, Roddy's butlers. They don't exist in the movie. Wish they did yep. though. They're very charming. But if you remember the movie plot, that would completely destroy Roddy's character, as he's supposed to be lonely, and having butlers would kind of defeat that purpose. Yes. But yeah, we we'll also, this game also employs uh, new original characters, and we'll see that in the next level. So, yeah, good a good deed. Um, yeah, that can go terribly awry, so glad that went as smooth as it did. Well, well, well. So now we are going to play Arachne's Revenge. So Arachne is the original character of the games. It's this big Brazilian spider. Uh, and we have to take her down. So this is the first time we'll be using combat in this game. Uh, there's going to be a few more instances to where we have to fight things. Uh, Roddy has one more fight with LeFrog, and Rita has to take out three mini-bosses. Uh, during the final level. So as for combat, uh, both the rats die, have a primary attack combo, which is accomplished by the B button, just B, B, B. Uh, an advanced attack combo with the Y button, which press that three times. And there's also a spin combo, which is accomplished by doing a B attack and then rotating your control stick. Uh, Rita's Spin move is different, but we'll touch on that during her fights. But as for Roddy's, uh, his spin move itself does three damage, so plus the first attack that you have to start with, that's four, which is very high damaging for what they can do. So what Newt's will do when he fights Arachne is use the advanced combo with three attack combo with the Y button, and 
then do the spin move combo. Whenever she's vulnerable, which we'll get to when we get there. But for now, she's just going to climb an elevator and take out the Arachne spawn so they don't mess them up. I usually don't, but I'm not merciful today. Plus, I need to save frames, so I need them yeah. to not mess me up. Yeah, once the third one's there, you can give yourself a fair time. So they just straight up dodged me there. Anyway. So, yeah, as for Arachne's boss fight, uh, she'll only be vulnerable for... Uh, so you throw um, these spider eggs. She will then catch them, and once she catches them, she'll be vulnerable. She will then uh, run to put them down, but as long as she's holding the egg, she will be vulnerable. Within this window, uh, Newts can do the advanced combo into the spin combo to deal 7 HP. I have had just about enough of you, little um, one. Before the vulnerability window ends. This, uh, he'll have to do that at least two times, but she'll be left on at least one HP, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how this fight goes. You typically, like normal, is getting this in uh, 2.5 cycles, but uh, you can get it faster. Alright, yeah, that was the best, but it'll work. That's fine, you, you can still recover it. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And for the folks who are just joining us, uh, this is a really good run. Like, actually, I'm... This is absurdly good. So, send your luck, and good luck Hello, to Newts. Please and thank you. So, that was Arachne's Revenge. Now we're going to go to the next fifth of the run, which is running the gauntlet. Uh, this is an extremely long level. Like, very long. Too long, in fact. But, yeah. Uh, the lore of this level is that, like, we have to deal with football players, or, well, soccer players, or if you're American, I guess. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the gauntlet is split up into four different rooms. Uh, the first three rooms are played by Roddy, and the last room is played by Rita. Uh, between the rooms, we play as the Jamie Dodger to just traverse around. Uh, in each room, we have one goal, break the lock so we can move on. Uh, so we have, for room one, we have to pull two switches in order to um, unlock the entire gate so we can get past. Um, there is a trick that Newt's can do by going on top of the building, going behind a building, phasing through it, and doing a death cancel. But we're not doing that today. No, yes. no, no. Too much. There's too much. Too much going on here. That would be way too scary. Yep, so we are not going to do that. And because you're not doing this, I'm sure you're going to get like your best split on this gauntlet. Just gotta oh, yeah. get uh, the box, skip, and then we're all good. And then we are all good. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just still practicing. You, wow, you were... I just looked at the time again, and that is so early to be this late in the run. Yeah, this is a really great run. And just got the um, animation skip. Nice! So yeah, typically Roddy does like a three to four second animation when he uh, pulls down on the switch. But if you get within the like hitbox to where like you can activate the switch, activate it, then immediately move out, uh, he will just not do the animation. So as you can see, he had to do it for the second switch, but that's normal. The animation skips are kind of hard to pull off, but again, if you get them, it is really good. Uh, it's like double frame perfect kind of position, perfect kind of. Uh, it sounds daunting and scary, but uh, it's actually a lot easier than it sounds if you just spin the control stick. Just, yeah, just kind of hope and pray. And if it doesn't work, then you just do it normally. So, 
it's very uh, low risk, high reward, unlike most of how Newt's game plan is. But yeah, now we're on to room two. So Newt needs to break down this brick wall first. Uh, this is to open up to get one of the parts to the switch. Right now, the switch to unlock the gate is uh, broken. So we need to get the three gears all throughout this room. Uh, the gap, there's like a gap between like where like we wouldn't even need to use the brick wall if we could jump over it. Unfortunately, it is too far away. Like just barely. Roddy it's, needs to do some stretches before he tries that. Honestly, like it's it's just too close. Like I even went into like the game's like memory and to like read the memory values and stuff and it's like 0. 0.2 units away. Like Roddy can jump like 10.3 units far, like being the most optimal as possible. But uh the gap is like 10.5. And it's just enough to where we can't reach it. Which is unfortunate, but yeah. The rest of this room is just played normally. Just basic platform optimization. Um, yeah. Um, we'll see some more blue orbs. We'll take the ones that we need because we can't skip all of them, but we are able to just jump around like the first one and then take the rest. Yeah, then we'll need to board the Jammy Dodger once again, uh, get to the other dock within this room. That will bring us to the uh, other gear that we need. And then once we pick that up, we can then activate the switch and get away from this room. This room is like the easiest, but also the scariest room. Just cause you die once, you're getting sent right back to where you got that one gear. Like the last gear that you got. Cause if I died right now, I'd have to go back on the boat. And all that time save that I accrued, gone. I would be sad. But we're not gonna lose that sort of time today. No, we are not. Not today. Um, yeah, so many of the things that, uh, what was I even gonna say? I don't know. Got another animation skip, though, so there's Be that. Nice. Some more time shaved off. And yeah, so that's room two. Now we're gonna be moving on to room three. Room three, you're supposed to play a mini game called Pathfinder. Uh, it's to move these boxes on the wire round to create a path for Roddy in order to get from one side to the other. However, from the box's default position, it is possible to make a jump to the other side. Uh, this is called a uh, box skip. Uh, it is pretty difficult to do. You have to make sure your jump is delayed and like, because if you miss it, you will die. And dying will send you back 40 seconds, like all the way back to where the boat was. So yeah, just take your time, Newts. Make sure you get it. Good luck. All right. To line this up this time. Okay, clenched it. 25% skill, 75% clench. That's what that requires. Yep, alright. That was really good that he didn't miss that. Yeah. And what Newt is not going to do on his way back is try and get off the Jamie Dodger the fast way, because that could kill him. Yeah, there is a way to, you know, where that salvage box is, the uh, floating box. You can jump from there back to the Jamie Dodger, and if you mash the X button, you can activate the Jamie Dodger pulling out. But I'm not going to do that because, yeah, too little 
reward. Because that will send them right back to the switch he just activated. That would be 50 seconds lost. Well, maybe we 40. Don't... Yeah, 40. Either way, we don't want that. So we're not even going to risk it. Uh, so yeah, that's room three pretty much, uh, and that's a wrap on what Brody has to do for this level. So now the rest is up to Rita. Rita's section is just uh, straightforward. Uh, there's no major skips. There's really just being as optimal as possible with just pathing out things. And that's about it. And then after that room is done, that is running the gauntlet. So again, this. Uh, entire level does take a very long time. Uh, you know, almost over a fifth, actually, depending on uh, this run's time, but we shall see. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm feeling the pressure, but... After yeah, Castle uh, Siege, we're basically on the home stretch, so I'm not too yeah. worried. Just keep a cool head on Castle Siege. Like, I honestly wouldn't even reset. Like, even if you get sent back, I would just keep at it. Personally, I know, but uh, this is demoralizing. Very it is sad. Castle Siege is demoralizing and very sad, but yeah, yeah. I usually do it just a way to see if I can get better RNG, but didn't work out for me last time, so we're gonna try something else this run. Yeah, I would like just try and get at least one flag and then just guided cray on your way through. I were in your shoes, but I mean, again, like, I don't know, be more comfortable with the catapult, just doing that until they send you back. As long as the first three turns go well, it's in the yeah. bag. Yeah, it's just, hopefully, Kayon, Crayon Cannon goes right in its corner and shoots at the wall like a good Crayon Cannon. Yeah, speaking of that, um, the rest of this level, there's not really much to talk about, so we're going to talk about Castle Siege. Before yep. we get there, we will of course, talk about Castle Siege. It's very, very scary. Not because it's necessarily hard, but the 40 seconds that it usually takes from starting it to finishing it can sometimes take three or four minutes. And this is because it's very unforgiving with its AI and, you know, just luck sometimes. Yeah, so it's a game where you and your opponent has to try and get just three flags. Um, obviously, the opponent doesn't stand a chance to beat us. Even if they did beat us, though, that would end the level and we can move on. So if they could beat us fast, that'd be great, but they can't because they're inept. So, Newt has to win on his own, uh, but unfortunately, the opponent does not make that easy sometimes. So what he'll first do is move his catapult to the closest position. This will allow him to just make easier shots to hit the flags. Um, the oh. opponent can hit that catapult back to the starting position. Uh, so we're just gonna hope that does not happen. Good luck with Castle Siege, bud. Okay, I got it. Okay. Alright, the crayon can move in the right position. Line that up, I don't want to mess that up too much. Getting almost perfect RNG. That's good. Another one down. All right. Spot on. Okay. Just one crown cannon oh, shot will do it. Nice. And then the rest of the run is basically in the bag. Basically. I mean, if I had a heartbeat punch. thing right now, it would be 140. 
or higher. Right. So that was a very smooth castle siege. Um, there are ways that it can go better, but that is pretty good. No time loss whatsoever with that castle siege, so that is great. Yeah, yeah I just noticed it's legs. literally like flat. <laughs> uh, French frog legs is, uh, even though it's the penultimate level in the game, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's three rooms with Rita we have to get across. Uh, pretty basic stuff, we just optimize things, but uh, that's, yeah, not too stressful all that much. You can't die in some places, but yeah. Yeah, I made a little uh, bit of a mess up, but it's fine. It's only like 10 seconds lost. That's fine. That, hey, just give yourself a buffer so you can make world record again on license, not, you know. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So then we're going to have to fight LaFrog with Roddy after Rita gets through her three rooms. Uh, he also just did a grapple jump just a little while ago. Um, it's just you know, it saves you a bit more time as opposed to just uh, dropping completely and then climbing up the wall. Um, yeah, but as for LaFrog, LaFrog's kind of not a very fun fight. Uh, you can do it optimally within uh, four cycles. So, kind of the same thing with Roddy, just getting the 7 HP down as he can with the advanced combo and spin move. Uh, he is only vulnerable when he sticks out his tongue and then you attack it. That's at least for phase one. Uh, after he does that twice, he will then go into phase two. Phase two, he eschews going on the walls to attack you directly from the ground. Uh, it's pretty easy to avoid. He'll just cartwheel for you and then try and hit you. Uh, you just need to hit him. Two more spin attack combos, and that should be yep. the fight. Got that pretty darn clean. Yep, pretty good. Just a little mistake at the beginning there, but super clean French frog legs otherwise. Oh, so now man. we are at the final level, the Amphibian Dawn. Uh, first... Uh, we have to skip through 19 cutscenes, which will hopefully calm his nerves down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Can't guarantee it. Yeah. So for the first room, Roddy just has to avoid the toad throwing these flasks of liquid nitrogen at him. Except he wants uh, the flask to hit these three terminals. Uh, one on the left, one on the back, one on the right. Uh, each terminal needs to hit, be hit three times in order for it to break. Uh, once all three terminals are broken, we'll then move on to Rita's fights with kill. the hench rat. Uh, I guess I can just start talking about the hench rats as we just wait for the toad to bring his own demise. Um, yeah. For the hench rats, each rat has a weakness. Fat Barry is the cold shower thing. Uh, Tim and those Ted's weakness is the flash of, of the camera. And Lady Killer's weakness are the air vents. Uh, we need to exploit that in order to make each of them vulnerable. They're only vulnerable for a short window of time, uh, so we can only Jeez, really nice. two-cycle them with using just the normal attacks, which are typically her best option. She is faster with her spin move. It is weaker. Yo, it only does the first hit and the spin move combined only does three damage, but it is very fast. Uh, but it's also super hard to hit. Even though you could get a one cycle using the spin hits, there's no forward hitbox. So it is just absurdly difficult. And I just hit the uh, back hitbox right there to save about a second over uh, hitting him again. Yeah, because just just instant two damage right when the vulnerability opens up. So great using this spin move. Oh. For Thimblenose Ted in particular, I prefer to just do the regular since it takes so short a time for him to actually, you know, to get back into his uh, vulnerable state. Whoops, kind of messing up here, but it's fine. Alright, a little bit sloppy, but we made up for the lost time earlier, so it's fine. Yep. All good. Yep. All, all right. Home. 
So those are Rita's fights. Now we're back to Roddy. This is the final section he has to play as Roddy. Um, it's just an obstacle course, pretty much. Uh, there's danger pretty much around every corner. Uh, there's going to be steam. There's going to be these electric things that kill him instantly. There's going to be these gate closing things that kill him instantly. Uh, there's going to be pits that will kill him instantly. Um, yeah, just not a fun time in general. But I missed a jump there, but it's fine. All right. Um, yeah, it could be all right. Yeah, again, it's a very precarious section. Um, it's just, yeah. Not much else you can do, really. Good movement all around. All right, yeah, the fan doesn't movement. have a hitbox, by the way, so we just kind of soar through there. You're supposed to go to the left and activate a switch, but don't need to do that, so all good here. Fan is merely a suggestion. Yeah, suggestion. That was it for Roddy. So now we have to play as Rita. Uh, Rita has to first hit a switch, grapple onto a higher platform, press a button, and then uh, activate the liquid nitrogen from that side. Uh, she needs to do that two more times, and that will then make the toad angry. She will follow the toad up to the highest platform, and then the final battle will happen. Uh, as opposed to fighting Lepra, or, sorry, the toad directly, you instead have to uh, just break his platforms. He'll be throwing those uh, bottles at you, but uh, that um, can, you just have to hit it out of his hands, which then uh, make his platform weak. And that will be it. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's just needs a clean fight here. And we just wait in awe. World record! World record! That is a world oh record, my God. ladies and gentlemen. Like kind yes! Finally! That was a fantastic a run, dude. That was absolutely friend. insane. Oh my to? god, dude. Yeah, to stop the that is closing. absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> On stream 2, right before License of Thought. Yeah? Holy crap. I suppose this is it then. You'll be off to Kensington. Ooh. I'll be off on my holiday. Yes, well, good I was lord. About this yeah, that was an absolutely insane you, run. You, you could not have a better start. Mate, would you? <laughs> I know, you right? Say no you more. shattered a jail and then kept it up the entire if way. You don't mind 